Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and I'm here to talk about the definition of matrix and matrices. Now, to use a little grammar here, matrix is the singular when there's only one matrix, was only one of these, and matrices is the plural when there's more than one matrix. Either way, you're looking at the same kind of thing where a matrix, one matrix, is a rectangular array of numbers, and there's a certain number of rows, let's usually called the letter M, and there's a certain number of columns denoted by the letter N. So an idea here, for example, if I have a two by two matrix, we're talking about two rows and two columns, you would just put numbers or variables, if, it depend, if you have unknowns, let's just say three, negative one, zero, and one half, just to kind of make things interesting. And this is example of one matrix. Now, if you have matrices, you have more than one. So I could, if I wanted to have another two by two matrix, I could have negative one seventh, 0 0.3, pi, and six, for example. So basically, as long as you put in values in those places, you would have a pattern and the rectangular array in each matrix. So if you have one, you have a matrix, you have more than one, you have matrices. But bottom line is as long as you have a certain number of rows and columns um, attached to it, you'll be good to go. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's the definition of matrix and matrices.